personalized pre Facebook profile frame ba ang gusto mo? Okay, so for today, I'm going to teach you how to have or create your personal, uh, personalized Facebook profile frame. So for this time, I'm going to introduce to you on how to use Canva. So all you have to do is to search from the Google, the Canva application, then go to the site. So Canva is a free application where anyone can edit, uh, video editing, uh, image editing, and as well as a Facebook profile frame. So, dahil nga hindi man sa Facebook, so naisip ni Canva to introduce or the, dip, the different templates on how to have a personalized Facebook profile frame. So, for this time, if you don't have already an account in a Canva, so all you have to do is to sign up. But I also, uh, as of now, I already have my own account in a Canva. So, dahil nga siya ilagi kong ginagamit in making my presentation, uh, cover from different uh, Facebook and any application or documents to be uh, to be to have for my teaching career so I'm going to use Canva so for this time we're going to search from the from the panel of templates uh, the Facebook profile frame so let's start with the with the let's start with the scratch then the Facebook or the Canva will going to suggest you the different templates that can be used or freely to be used in the application. So here, you're going to search for the Facebook profile frame. Then there go, you're going to find out the different kinds of templates. So as you can see, uh, there was a template that is not free, free for you to use. So, ang pipili mo dapat yung free muna kasi kung wala ka pang subscription sa Canva, hindi mo siya magagamit. So, for this time, I'm going to choose this one, a free application or a free template. So, I'm going to use this one. So, ito yung makikita nyo sa aking Facebook account, DP. Ano po? So, as you can see, the color is different from what I've, uh, I've shown you before. So, I'm going to change this color based on the color that I want and the design that I want. So, we're going to, and, okay, so for this color, I'm going to choose the lighter one. Then, going to choose a green color based on the color that I want and then at the middle I'm going to change this into yellow So you can adjust the color based on your choice. And that's it. Okay. So for the design that you want, just make sure you already have prepared your ping or any icon that you want to put into your proper frame. Just make sure that you already upload it. You're going to upload the uh, clip art or the image that you want to add into your templates or to your Facebook buffer frame. So for this time, I'm going to upload the image which is uh, intended for my section. So as I said, just make sure you already prepare for it. And yan. So I'm going to upload it now. And automatically, it can be seen in the given uh, uploaded files. And then, just pop. Okay, let's add some design. So, as you can see again, magbibigay si Kamba ng mga templates or ng mga clip art or icon to be used freely for you to have your own personalized Facebook profile frame. So, I'm going to use this one. You can adjust the corner. If you want to fill the whole frame, you can adjust it. But 
I intend to put my acronym, so LMDB. I'm going to put my the meaning of LMDB in the side or at the top of the circle. Okay. Then the position. Try to click the position if you want to send it back. Send it backward. Para sa likod siya mapapunta. Ayan. So, there is it. And then, like what I said, I want to put the meaning of LMDB. You can drag it down. Pwede mo siyang hilahin. Pwede mong paliitin. Depende sa choice na gusto mo. Okay, so I'm going to put the word lead to motivate and develop values. So, lagi natin ang text. Select the text and then add a subheading. I'm going to give the meaning of LMDB. LMDB is my name po. Lead to motivate and develop values. And then, from here, click it again. Then, you can change. You can change the size or the uh, kind of point style that you want. So, for this time, I'm going to use Telegraph Bold. And then, I'm going to change the color by choosing from the text color, Falay, the color that you want. So, as usual, green is my favorite color. And then, we're going to transform it into the design that you want. Okay, paano ba natin may edit si text? So, let's just edit by adding an effects. Ayan. Then, search for the carb one. Adjust it into the, into the place that you want to put in your text. Yan po, we can adjust it. Then, for it to fit, you have to adjust and be patient to put your text into your frame. To make it balance. Yan, and then I'm going to choose the bold one. Yes po. And then yan. The text is already here. And then, so how I'm going to use the icon? So, I'm going to add the icon that I choose to represent our section. So, our section is Great Ten Aguinaldo. So, I'm going to choose it one and then put it here into the side. Para kahit lagyan pa rin natin yung sarili natin picture yung loob, Visible pa rin siya. Ano po? Ayan. And then, to put the text in here, just type the text that you want to put in. Okay, so I'm going to write the quotation of our section. It's Aguinaldo thing that you wouldn't understand. It's Ayan. So, for this time, ganyan di siya visible, we can go to choose a lighter color, which is white, para maging visible sa aking green background. Ano po? And then, you, para makas siya, para mas maganda tingnan, we're going to change also the font size. So, let us choose this one. And then, you can change again the font style that you want. So, I'm going to use lobster for this time. And automatically, we're going to change drag it down and set from the place that you want to put in that's it and then you can add another one just copy this text copy and then paste then add natin yung isa pang yung quotation kasi putol yun it's aginal thing that you wouldn't So, dahil nga po hindi naman visible, dahil yellow yung background niya, palta naman natin siya ng, uh, to make it transparent. So, we're going to choose the green one. 
para siya maging visible pa rin. Okay. Then, let's add the last clip art that can be seen in my Facebook profile uh, frame, in my Facebook account. So, I'm going to choose this one again. It is a pre icon. So, I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to set here. So, automatically, nasa likod na siya. Ayan. Adjust the size. And, you can drag it from the place that you want to set in. And, here it is po. So, tapos na yung personalized Facebook profile frame. So, just make sure, because tatanggirin natin mamaya yung, ano, yung background niya through the use of uh, background remover para siya ay kapag inilagay yung picture mo, visible, at hindi makikita, hindi mo na kailangan mag-edit-edit. So, we're going to choose the color into a lighter one para visible pa rin siya kahit mag-remove background tayo later, hindi matatanggal. Kasi, once na mag-remove background tayo, lahat ng white ay matatanggal. Ano po? So, here. So, and here it is. Tapos na iyong personalized Facebook proper frame. So, all you have to do now, based on the left and the right side, makikita nyo yung uh, download, download icon. So, all you have to do is to click in. And then, the Canva will going to suggest you a uh, ping type of your file. Kasi nga, yun yung mas maganda. Ano po? So, meron na kalagay dyan, transparent background, compress the file over quality. Lahat yan ay for premium only or the premium user. So, may bayad siya. Ngayon, para ma-download natin siya ng pre, ang sinadjust na ay ping na muna. Ano po? So, let us download now. So, automatic, your uh, frame will be seen from your download files of your computer. So, let's go here from the downloads and here it is and this is your personal Facebook for for frame so para natin siya magagamit with our Facebook so ang gagawin nyo po sundan nyo po ang mga sinabi ko sa aking unang vlog so yun lang po hope ay natuto kayo kung paano natin magamit or kung paano tayo gumawa na sa rin natin Facebook for for frame